What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with Zero. Welcome to a Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 83. Now, the last episode, which we did a review on yesterday, the kids participated in a Poke Dance competition with guest star Miss Moani, the person that used to feed the Litten that we've come to know. Uh, Mallow Steenie particularly took a liking to the Alola Hula demonstrated by Miss Moani's Oricorio. And during the competition, Team Rocket winds up trapping everyone except Steeny, um, resulting in a battle between Team Rocket and Steeny. And during the battle, Steeny evolves into Serena and steps on everyone. Now, if your Serena fill wasn't met in the last episode, this episode will help with that. Today's episode was very interesting, very weird. It took about 15 minutes for me to get any interest in the episode because the first 15 minutes were just boring and I didn't understand. Actually, I still don't understand why. Anyway, let's get to the review. Now, at the Pokemon school for the day, a special lecture is supposed to be going and we don't know who it is until they show us and it's Faba or Salbo as they call him in the anime. I'm just going to call him Faba. I'm playing Ultra Sun right now so I should probably just be in that mode anyway. He's doing a presentation about science. Well, what science you ask? Well, the science of Pokeballs. How you can get something like Alolan Executor, you can get something like Snorlax into this tiny little Pokeball and he says he's made a machine that will take whatever object he uses a house as an example and will shrink it into this little capsule that you can then move and it will expand again. After he goes to try and demonstrate on the blackboard in the in the school it doesn't work obviously. So he goes he messes with it, he touches every button and then he goes to do it again the machine freaks out and fires all over the room. Eventually hitting Lily, Ash, and Sophocles shrinking them into super tiny sizes. The intro runs and this episode is called Ash Minimizes. I don't know why it's called Ash Minimizes because Ash didn't do anything the entire episode, but that's what it's called. As the, sh as the show comes back from the intro screen, Poi Pole absolutely thinks it's hilarious. Poi Pole is spinning. He does flips. You know, if you watch Poi Pole in the anime, every once in a while, you'll, you'll see him spinning, twirling on his head. Well, this time he was doing backflips just laughing his butt off the whole time. He thinks it's absolutely hilarious. But anyway, Faba says it can be solved by putting them into the capsules and releasing them. Well, that would have been a nice five minute episode. Um, obviously that didn't work. So Faba is like, hey, Rotom, you're coming with me. We're gonna fix this machine. And Ash, Lily, Sophocles are like, what in the world are we gonna do? We're shrunken. Well, Ash is like, you know what? We'll get it all figured out. And he and Lily get on the back of Pikachu and there uh, Ash makes the comment that ride Pikachu is so fun. So they're running around the school and uh, Togedemaru picks up Sophocles and goes spinning around the school and so, uh, Togedemaru collides into the machine, destroying it, and then collides with Pikachu, launching Togedemaru with all three kids out of the school into the lake. In the lake, there's a whirlpool, they get sucked in the whirlpool and they just get going down the river. Yeah. Sure. At the school, um, the kids get on their Ultra Guardian Pokemon. The kids that are still there get on their Ultra Guardian Pokemon and go off to search. Um, as the kids are floating down the river, Ash, as we said before, is the only calm one. He's just like, hey, this will all get worked out. Let's see what kind of adventures we can have. And a Mudsdale, you know, the heaviest Pokemon in existence, walks past and causes a big wave to splash them up onto the shore. Up on the shore as they dry themselves off and wake up out of their whatever you want to call it, as they come to from being washed up on land. And a Alolan Rattata runs up and is going to fight them or eat them or whatever. And Togedemaru jumps up and attacks them. And the, the, the Rattata runs away. And Lily fixes her hair up in her little power Z-move, Z-form, whatever you want to call it. And is all being all dramatic and is like, if this is what we have to put up with, then I accept it. and Because I don't know how long we're going to be like this. And... The kids notice off to the side there's a group of Dedene conveniently standing there and they run up to Togedemaru and they're exchanging electricity with each other and that results in Pikachu feeling the electricity so that Pikachu can go find them. Well, they don't just stay put so that can happen. 
Um, <laughs> Lily and Ash wind up jumping onto a Comfey that carries them to the Pokemon City that they're in. And as they're floating past, an, Alo an Alolan Persian notices them and licks its lips like it wants to go eat them. Now, Pikachu and Vulpix have since found the Dedenne, and as we said before, they're not there. The kids aren't there anymore, so the Dedenne try to take them off to maybe where they were. And as those kids are floating on the, the uh, Comfe, a Murkrow flies past and swoops them away, and they go flying into a fruit patch, which happens to be Miss Moani's. And Sophocles is already there because he was so hungry because that's just what he does. Do you see why I was losing interest in this episode? I'm already about 10, 12 minutes in. <laughs> so, uh, Ash is standing on top of these oranges that he lands on and the oranges fell and it was extremely dramatic. Very over the top dramatic, but as everything settles, the Alolan Persian comes up. And Ash is like, wait a minute, I think this is the Alolan Persian that was trying to fight Litten that one time. So they have a score to settle, or at least the uh, the Persian has a score to settle, but it wants to eat them. Mallow and Serena wind up finding Togedemaru and they call the others for help, but then they go off to find them. Um, these tiny humans, Ash, Sophocles, and Lily, have successfully ran away from Alolan Persian. Alolan Persian is not able to catch them. Is this the meme that Alolan Pokemon are all slow? All of them are slow? Can't even catch up to these tiny little humans? Anyway, they do get cornered. So Alolan Persian's about to make its move and Serena and Mallow show up. And Serena's like... And so... I'm not talking right now because I'm hoping that there's a video playing. And if the video's not playing right now, it's because the third anime review in a row gets blocked worldwide. I'm just trying to make my anime reviews better by including clips of the video, but it's not like the full clip. There's no audio playing. It's just this clip of Serena absolutely smacking up Persian to the point of animal abuse. Like someone needs to get this group of leaves turn up looking thing. Serena destroys this Persian. The Persian's looking hurt, gets up, and gets a freaking trop kick to the gut. And then Serena steps on it, stomps on its face. And the Persian's like, nah, I, nah, I, I want to keep fighting. So Serena launches like a, I couldn't tell if it was like a razor leaf or what it was, but something that completely skins the, the, the top of Alolan Persian, and Persian runs away. This Serena is like, could potentially be like Iris Dragonite level strong. This thing looks extremely, extremely strong. In the alley after this battle, Ash and Lily, Pikachu and Vulpix wind up reuniting and Ash pets Pikachu on the nose. Pikachu sneezes and the kids all change back to their normal size. What? Even the kids in the anime, even like Kiawe was like, he sneezed and they all turned back to normal. It flashes over to the Persian's trainer who's very shocked at the, the, the appearance of her Persian. Back at the school that night, Faba and Rotom claim that they have fixed the machine. And when they go to test it and show people, it winds up changing Togedemaru into this big monstrosity. And that was it. Like I said, it took about 15 minutes for this episode to really do anything. And then it was just Serena absolutely smacking up this Persian, which was very cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of this Serena right now. The Serena is looking really awesome. It needs to go over to Ash, but Ash already has a grass type, so never mind. That's not going to happen. But anyway, that was the episode. Again, we're not going to look forward to the next episode because if I do things correctly, if things work out like I have them planned in my mind, the next anime review episode will be out tomorrow. If you enjoyed our review, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about the episode, what you think about this review, what you think about Serena, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.